Hello and welcome to Tim's Bits and Pieces. I will be showing you model train tips and tricks, layout build, new items for the layout, repairs and servicing of locos and rolling stock, 3D prints as well as four wheel drive repairs, DOA projects and much more. So grab a drink, a bite to eat, sit back and enjoy. Don't forget to like, subscribe and leave your comments. Let's get on with it. Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of uh, Tim's Bits and Pieces. Uh, today we have another uh, unboxing. So, reasonable size, so let's get into it. I've already opened, just opened the sticky tape to get the box open to make it a bit easier. So, we've got some ruffled paper. And look, we've got some carriages. Woohoo! Alright, let's get on with this. Bubble wrap aside. I love bubble wrap. Good stuff. Alright, first wagon. And I think this is from my man just the other side of Geelong here in Melbourne that I've been buying a bit of stuff from in the last couple of months. So, here we have another little... Uh, Wine wagon. What knees? What knees? What? What knees? What? Well, as you can see, these are going to need a full once over. As you can see here, look at that straight off the cuff. All the fluff. So, um, yeah, these have been used for a while or um, haven't been looked after, shall we say. So, there's fluff everywhere. So, this will need a good quick once over. Nothing wrong with a bit of a brush, um, something like this. And just get in there and just give them a bit of a wipe. Oh, don't drop them like that. Get in there, give them a bit of a wipe over. It's amazing what a difference, just a, a little brush. Come get in the bits and pieces in between the, the, all the stuff on the carriage. Pull out some of the stuff that's in the middle there, like that, and that. Still some more, and then we use the bent ones because they're better at getting in corners and so forth. Doesn't hurt to have several different types. Give it a bit of a scoosh, push, whatever you want to call it. Got a bit of stuff down there. Now a friend of mine, he, he does the scoosh on Double O Bill. He does the scoosh, which is usually his, um, what is it? His um, contact cleaner is usually his scoosh. But anyway, so just give them a once over. See like that, just a quick once over. And you can see we've got two different couplings. We've got the old European style that end. And we've got the Hornby D style, large D on that end. So that'll be a good little um, converter wagon to intermediate between trucks and wagons that have different couplings. So that's a good one to have. I think that's probably one of the reasons why I bought this one. But see, just a bit of a once-over and she looks good as gold. Well, not spotless, but let's fix that up. So that's got a bit of a angle there, so... But that's all right. We can fix it. We have the technology, like the six million dollar man. Do, 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 do. <laughs> but that's not a bad looking little wagon on its own, just as a start. Yeah, see, that's going to be. That might need a screw or something to hold it. All right, on to the next one. The next one we have is an elastic band around a flat wagon I'm guessing by the looks of it and don't don't break the elastic bands because you never know when you're going to need them like I keep all the bubble wrap I keep all the elastic bands because I reuse it when I send stuff out so it doesn't hurt to keep it recycle it I reckon keep it going around the world recycling is good here we go this is a Trying R110 R212 made in England. 
old style couplings like was on that last lot. So M I three one two seven twenty ton wagon. There you go, M I three one two seven. Get in the right light, see three one two seven and it says twenty ton just there. And this is the old type with the pin for the axles or pin through the axles. So these are ones that um, are a little bit harder to change. So I tend to just give them a good once over. I'll um, get the Dremel with a with a um, not a wire brush, but a little plasticky type brush on it on the Dremel, and just give those wheels a bit of a clean up. So as you can see, like that's not cleaned up, and you can see that's cleaned up. So just couple of seconds with the brush and it's good as gold so all right what's next next we have oops don't want more bubble wrap too another little flat wagon oh it's got a coal load and I dare say that looks like a homemade coal load to me what do you think now I have a bit of a, a thing, you can tell me what you think, but coal loads or any loads inside wagons, should you be able to take them out and put them back in? Or, like me, I think you build a load and you put it in the wagon and it stays in that wagon, whereas this one looks like it's, it's permanently affixed because you've got bits over the side there bits over there which would normally happen in real life whereas if it's all in perfectly inside the space you can tell that it's not proper but I'm not anyone for any of this prototype stuff I'm not one for any of that sort of stuff but I like it to look a little bit realistic now this one they've um, changed over the couplings horn hooks not returning there the um, KD's not returning so I'll have a look at the spring in that one. And that one, as you can see, has got stuff all over it. Look, see, you can pull a bit of stuff off there. And we got, I don't know what it is, glue or something around here. Yep, there seems to be old style glue. There's glue up on here. There. Well, not glue, but grease more so. Yeah, look, grease all in there. See, I don't know who's doing this, but um, don't put grease in these things, guys. Grease is good, but not the right sort of grease. This is a very thick brown, old-style grease, so that'll have to be cleaned out. But I like that. That's quite a nice-looking load. All right, next one. It'll be interesting to hear from you guys what you think about loads and so forth. Whether you think that they should be able to be taken out and replaced, changed over, run around empty, put it back in at the other end. All right, here we go. Here's another Watney's wagon, same as the other one. And as you have a look, it's got the coupling there and the coupling there, which is exactly the same as this one. So it has, whoops, let me get it around the right way. Coupling there. Hang on, let me just let me just put it down. It'll be much easier. All right, you've got old D style coupling at that end, and you've got the European that end. But your little guardhouse is there, and then the guardhouse is there on this one. So maybe these go this way, and whatever at the end of it. So you have a loco this end, and the loco carriages that end, and you have all your Europeans that way, or you can turn around the other way and have them like that. So. Yep, but you can see the difference in the two carriages, like, just just a quick once-over, all right? Can you tell me which one I cleaned and which one I didn't? That one I cleaned, that one I didn't, because that's got the metal wheels. This one had the plastic wheels when we started. So, um, yeah. But um, nice-looking little carriages. All right, what's next? We have an orange wagon, and I dare say this would be a caboose, by the looks of it. Yes, a caboose. 
Z739ZL. Uh, More Australian type, this one. Uh, made in Great Britain, S6339, and it's a Hornby. Wheels are alright there, wheels are alright there, and the couplings are good. So, um, yep, that's not a bad little wagon, that one. Bit of a dust over, quick check of the wheels, and she'll be ready to roll. Alright, what's next? Oh, we've got a long one. I think this is another long flat. I do believe it's another long flat. Oh, I've got a piece of metal. There's your metal weight. So, don't know whether that's supposed to be at that end or not, but anyway. Trying R110 R212, which is the same as this one here. So, if you have a look at them, R110 212, made in England, exactly the same. And But here you go, look at this. See, this is the early version, and this is the newer version, because you can look, see the couplings. That's the old trying, and then that's the newer version. And then you've got metal wheels, plastic wheels, and you've got your axles are on the wheels, whereas this one, the axles are in the shaft all the way it goes through. So, looking at it, and this has got spiked wheels, whereas that's, you can't see the wheels on that one. This one doesn't say any weights or anything on it, whereas that one has all the weight and the cat number on it. So, but you can tell it's the same same model, same part number underneath, but you can just have a look and see the difference in, in X amount of years difference from the older version to the newer version. So, um, yeah, just have a look as you go. Nothing wrong with it. It just um, means it needs a bit of a once-over. This one, good clean-up. Um, the wheels are fine, so just the couplings still work, coupling into each other. As you can see, they still work, so there's nothing wrong with the couplings. It's just that's the old original style, and then that's the next version that they went to, when they went to Hornby and Troying. Alright, what's next? We have a little one, this one. Real little. goods van LMS furniture removal service not a bad looking little wagon that one coupling's a bit pink but that's not a problem and it's a triang made in England not a bad looking little wagon that one I think all the decouplings I'll take off and I'll change them to KDs but um, otherwise that's not a bad little wagon just a bit change the wheels Change the couplings over, should be good to go. Nice little score that one. Alright, here we go, there's another little one. Alright, I can already see a KD on the end of that one. So, what have we got? Here's another coal load. I dare say that that's another homemade version, looking at that. Little bits of coal or, or um, bits of bits. See, for coal loads, I use um, fish tank gravel because it's very small and it's the same colour, so you don't have to paint it. But I make them and I put them inside the wagon and they stay in the wagon. They don't get taken out. So somebody's painted this. You can see on it. I can just see. I don't know whether you can see it, but it just says... Oh, if I get the camera in the right with the light, it says 16 tonne. And then it has something, something, 884. But somebody spray painted this or painted it black, uh, grey. They've um, painted or tried to get rid of the numbers on there as well. But it's a Dapol Limited, made in Wales. Spoked wheels again, with some um, KDs. That one's a bit tired by the looks of that. And that one. Goes all the way over, so yep. We're missing a bit of the end of the buffer on there. But otherwise, not a bad looking little wagon. Not keen on the silver though, but yep. Right. 
we're going up in size now. I'd say it's another one of these wine wagons from memory. Yep. Watneys, another Watneys, but this has got the D hooks on each end. As you can see, there's a D hook there and D hook there. It says in, I can read in there, it says Lima. Lima, Italy. See that there, Lima. And then it says Italy there. So these are the early Limas. Metal wheels. One side's insulated, that's not. That's not. And that is. So <laughs> put the wheels in diagonally, but that doesn't make a difference if it's not wide to do anything. So yeah. But another little wine wagon. So it's um, three. That's another little one to my collection, which is good. All right, we have something that's yellow roof. Roof, roof. I don't know if Americans over there know, but there's an ad here in Australia, and it's roof, roof. And it's a seal on a roof, and they're advertising re-roof sealing, sealing your roof. Ah, oh, here we go. Now, Railway Express Agency, number 17. Can't read what that says because it's been scratched out and it's been scratched out on the top there also. What a shame. But anyway, these are nice little wagons like those other red ones that I had the other day. Um, so you could have two of these, one lot of this running around or even join this onto the other lot. I can admit that the paint job's a hell of a lot better, but this is the original paint job on this one. Uh, and it says, Backman, Backman, Hong Kong. If you have a look, I get me things so you can see it. See, it says Backman, Hong Kong there, and it's got little metal wheels. I'd say they are 33s with KD that end and a KD that end. So, yeah, nice little carriage that one. Quite happy with that. Uh, here's another yellow one. Dare say it's similar to the one I've just shown you. If I remember rightly, there was a few of these. Yep. Okay. This is number 18. Pity, pity they rubbed it out. Can't make it out. C A N A D. No. No, can't see it. Don't know, I can't read what it says. But anyway, nice little wagons. If I, I'm sure if I looked them up, I'd find them. But um, the other one was 17, this one's 18. And if you have a look, this one's actually got little lights. Not real lights, but painted tail lights. And the frame here is loose. The balustrading, so I won't touch that now. I'll leave that and I'll have a look at it there later. Like always, I always check all my carriages over, give them a clean, give them a once over. But I don't think... No, see, on this one, I thought, there's no lights on the end of this, so that's good. So this one would be at the end of the consist, because it's got the lights. And this has got a baggage section, so it would go that way. Because you've got the little lights at the end, so that's nice. All right, what else have we got? We've got one without elastic band. This one's got sticky tape. Right, maybe he's run out of elastic bands. <laughs> Terrible day in the world of repacking when you've run out of elastic bands, isn't it? Terrible. Oh, well, it does happen. I tend to use, when I send my stuff out, I use a little bit of sticky tape, but I do use elastic bands like those I'll reuse. Ah, this is one of the older wagons. Trying R118, R213. The old Trying, made in England. A bit of fluff on all this, all over there. So this will have a good once over. Put it in the cleaner, give it a good clean and soak. Sometimes just give them a once over with a bit of um, soap, warm soapy water and a brush. 
let them dry on their own they come up well so this will be another one to that group Got another long one, this one. Now, where does that start there? It's really long, this one. Oops. Seem to have lost my edge. There we go, back to where it starts again. And this is a very long one. Always have a look at your bubble wrap and wrapping and whatever before you discard it. All right, this is one of the um, trying ones again. Uh, two four two and S five nine one nine, made in England. This is the triaxle version, whereas this is the dual axle version. If you have a look, see. So you've got a dual axle and a triaxle, and this triaxle is somewhat longer. All right, and it says NATO, so this is one of those ones that the Defence Navy or Army or whatever it is. As you can see, there was something on there, and the glue's broken. Part of it's still there, and part of it's still there as well. Um, nice looking wagon though. It'll service the requirements. And we've got just one more. Oops, knock everything around. One more. Let's have a look and let's see what's in this one. And it's another flat wagon. Four one nine one seven. Trying R116, R213. It's a bit hard to see, but you can read it out. I uh, don't know whether you can see it. Yes, there you go. Made in England. So this is one of the really old ones, this one. As you can see by the wear on it. And the couplings, once again, it's an old trying because of the couplings. But that's okay. And they're, they're actually metal chassis or trucks. This is plastic, but that's metal. All of that's metal, and the metal rivet through. So, if you need to change them, you just got to drill the rivet out. Um, but sometimes what I do is I just cut this front piece off, and I put a KD or something on the front of it because they're very hard to get the wheels out of these because the actual axle goes from there all the way across to the other side. So um, you can't really get the wheels out and take the wheels out. So you either take the whole truck off and put a new plastic truck on or you just cut the front of it off, modify it and put a KD or whatever you want on the front of it or you just leave it as is. So there we go. It's a nice little score isn't it? And um, there's another empty box, a lot of newspaper like the other box that we had the other day. Alright, I've got one more box, I'll be back shortly. Okay, I'm back. I've just taken the details off it. So here we go. Little box this time. Little bit of bubble wrap. Oh, they're individuals. All right, here we go again. We have... Oops. Canadian National Tanker. 20014 is it? Yes, 20044. So, Triang R117, made in England. Metal axles but plastic wheels. That one's in, that one's in the wrong spot. There we go. Not a bad looker in itself. And we've got Trying Railways TR22831. This is an old trying because you can see the couplings on it. It's a bit bent. So, Trying Railways. 
not too bad looking at all actually sliding doors quite quite a bit of weight in it which is good and the plate here holds the doors and helps them slide and you've got a bit of weight in the roof all the way along so with a wash over and a dust up that'll be just fine and what else have we got we have oh this is a different one Pennsylvania no, 4937 oh I'd say that's a work carriage by the looks MOW or something like that because you've got cabinets in the middle stairs up and doors into the passenger area at the back of it I'd say this would be a work van of some description and it says Tyco Mantua all right so it's got horn hooks on it that's all right that's all right that's all right with horn hooks so they can quite easily be changed over to kds but that's quite a different little wagon that one I have to look into that it's quite nice actually all right and we have one more looks like a flat wagon to me and it is N and W five three seven three, and we've got capacities one two three twenty two hundred thousand. Limit is forty six three hundred and two one six seven hundred. So I can read there. I don't know whether you can read any of that or not, but if I get that in focus. You might be able to read it. So it's a flatbed with horn hooks so not too bad a little flat top that one so i'm getting a good collection of those now oh and it says here here we go made in austria roco r-o-c-o -O, there and then it says ahm up this end so there you go so you've got roco and ahm that was when they joined forces so yep not a bad looking wagon all right there we go that's the end of that so um thanks very much for watching and uh, don't forget like subscribe comment i like to hear your comments so by all means leave a comment tell me what you think and um let me know about those um coal wagons what you think about loads whether they should be apparently on the wagons or you should be able to take them on and off especially like coal loads and timber loads and things like that. Tell me what you think. Let me know. All right, there we go. Another lot in the mail turned up. Thank you very much for watching, and uh, stay tuned for the next one. Thanks. Bye for now.